Hello everyone, welcome to Slime Ranchers and the Cheddar Fox channel. Today we're going to be doing a, well, Slime Rancher playthrough. Not all in one video, of course, but we're going to be starting it today. So, let's go. And I think I want to call it Happy Slime Farm. <clears throat> there we go. Looks happy. <laughs> and let's see here. Right there. Adventure mode. Off we go. Never turn your back on a chicken. A thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix Lebeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Alrighty, so let's get into it. I have played Slime Ranchers before, but today we're recording it. So, our goal for the first thing here, let's get... What's a good goal? How about... Two pens. <clears throat> Which, you know what? I already have the money to get a second pen. So, that was easy. <laughs> and, eh, yeah, you know what? I might as well get more pens then. Let's just make it four. So, we have slimes. Put them in the corral. Now, these slimes, they eat everything. It says, slimes are your key to sick. Oh, okay, well, there it goes. <laughs> Tasty food acquired. Foods like fruits, veggies, or chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting them at pink slime so that because they eat anything. Ta-da! Do you eat chickadoos? You have acquired a slime plort. When slimes eat, they make plorts. Head over to the plort market to crash here in your plort. Ta-da! And I already got 36 bucks. Chicken! It's called a hen hen. You've learned the fundamentals. Now it's time to get out there and explore. Remember, the best way to become a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, never, nothing gained. Nothing never gained. Blah, 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 blah. That's not quite what I said, but it's close. Anyway. So, another thing we're going to be doing today is maybe popping our first gordo. Now, a coral crusted ocean floor. Now it basks under golden sun. Dry reef. Here we got pogo fruits, the most common fruit on the range, some say the most delicious. <laughs> Pink slimes are really great because they eat anything, and so you can mix them with any slime and they'll just, the slime will now eat anything. Which makes it kind of convenient. However, it's best to pe feed slimes their favorite food. Because they give double the plorts. And actually, Slimepedia, slimes, has no favorite, yeah. Here, actually, let's read the slimeology of the pink slime. Slimeology. Pink slimes are the most common slime found on the far, far range. They're careful, dorsile, or sorry, they're cheerful, blah, 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 blah. They're cheerful, dorsile, and the easiest of all slimes to ranch. A pink slime will eat anything you put in front of it, though they have no favorite food and their plorts are the least valuable of all slimes. Rancher risks. Not much to worry about with pink slimes. They're soft, squishy, and very happy to be around a rancher. Or and found all over the range. Because of this, a rancher won't go far without finding new pink plorts, which can lead to largos, and then... Dot dot dot. Plortomics. Pink plorts are an excellent, multi-purpose, generic substance used to manufacture everything from food products to household cleaners. All over Earth, people are eating burgers, sweetening their coffees, or scrubbing their floors with pink plort products. That's some serious versatility. There we go, these guys are just... The, they like the fundamentals of the plort market. Oh, where'd he go? There. I need all the pink slimes. Oh, I don't want too many. Carrots! You know what? Maybe we should get 
garden too. And start planting some carrots. Hello, Beatrix. Name's Hobson Twillerings. Twiller, twir, Twilgers, Twilgers. A rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember, and felt there was one last adventure left to me, so I set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love, so keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear from an old coot who has to say something every now and again. Be talking to you, H. So that's cool. I'm more curious. Can I get up here? Nope. Oh look, we have American Casey. Visit Ranch House to view. So that is what we will do. Oh yeah, I forgot in the settings I actually switched the run off of toggle. Casey! Hi Bea, what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's like Z or 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on your ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess you better, I guess, I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, Bea. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. Welcome to the far, far range, the 7Z Corporation. The 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome. I extended support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days in the range, until you get more familiar with your surroundings. Traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, if you should require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us, for a small fee. The 7Z Corporation. Ta-da! So I guess they're the ones that sell the plorts to Earth, and then I sell the plorts to them. Fancy. So, I'm gonna feed you guys. Oh, yes. Uh, how many slimes do I want here? How about ten? So, we got three. And the rest of you can go back into the ocean. Where you came from. As the Slimepedia will tell us. Sure, I'll leave these carrots in here too. There we go. Now we have plorts and plorts and plorts. And this is closed. So, uh, where do we want my garden? Hmm. Let's do a garden here and a garden there. Alrighty, off we go. have a key for church pods. Let's see. Right, that just goes back up here. Alrighty. I need to collect some food for the Gordo. The Gordo over there. Whoop. And I can't fall in the water because that'll knock me out. I have to sleep till morning and lose all my stuff. Not that this stuff is exactly valuable, but you know. This is There we go. I now have a map of the dry, dry reef. So here's my house here. And then over here, that is an area where it's essentially just like a gardening area, which I don't think we have unlocked yet. This is a cave area. This is a research facility. And that is the docks. We must start with what we got. What we got is Gordos. Hey, Tabby Slime. Need some Tabbies. Oh, okay. I guess I only got two Tabbies. Check a douche. This tree is full of pogo fruits.
All right, well, let's collect some ports, and we'll get selling. And I don't want to feed these guys, because I want to use it for something else. Oh, rock slime. Oh, I don't know. My backpack's full. Um... All right. Rock slime. These slimes are totally metal. And what's our rock slime diet again? Let's see here. He eats veggie. Fabby slimes eat meat. You guys are cute. Wow, look at that, all these plorts. Making money already! Look at that! Okay, put a tabby in here. And we're gonna put you in there. Ouch! And now we got that. So now you'll eat anything. Oh! Actually, what's your favorite? Slimepedia. I believe your favorite is carrots. Hard to beat. And Stony Hen is the favorite of the tabby slime. Tabby cat. Meow. Anyway, so let's see if we can find some more plorts. I forget what's this way. There's more stuff. Oh, yes, and the phosphor slimes. Whoops, no, get out of here. Ah. Ah. I was gonna pick you up. Oh well. Silly phosphor slime. Oh, hey, hey, there's more. You. These soft glowing heralds, or heralds of starlight. There we go. These guys are cute. They eat veggies. Or sorry, fruit. They eat fruit. But they're not only found here, they're found at nighttime. So. Probably see some more as we go over here. Or they haven't spawned yet. Okay, well, that's fine. Either way. <clears throat> and now. What, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? How do you. Pen? Oh my, Largo! Largo slimes are large hi slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a plort unlike its own. Back to keep them on your nozzle or shoot to send them flying. Lords, you look so happy. Make sure they don't have any cross contamination. Perfect. Oh. Oh, here. Uh. I would mix you with a phosphor. I would mix a phosphor with this thing. You know what? That's actually good. I don't know. I don't have a solar shield. Because that costs a bit. Right now, that's not our goal. How much is a? Let's see here. How much does a garden cost? Garden, two fifty. Okay, that's our prices. Two. There we go. Now we can get our garden. And you keep getting out. I might need high walls. First, garden. Yeah, what, 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 no. No, stop it. Maybe I can't handle the Largos right now. All right, into the ocean with you. This is now officially Tabby, so. No pinks allowed. Which unfortunately does mean I have to. Oh, ah, shoot, that's the Pogo Slimes. Or fruit. Unfortunately, that does mean I have to, uh, what you call it? Hello. Oh, ouch. I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Woo! 
I wonder if I could have a separate pen for every type of slime. I think there's too many slimes for that, but we'll see. Because, well, actually, this guy doesn't seem too jumpy. He seems to be staying put, so I'm going to keep him here. This guy, when he's big, can get out, though, so... But I will... Hmm... Ready to go. Tommy? There you are. What are you doing over here? Alrighty. We have a garden. Let's go take our pogo fruit and feed the gordo. There we go. Apparently this kid's good at parkour. Eat some pogo fruit. Any more food? Oh, we got an ornament. Um, 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 uh. Chickens can fly! <laughs> They're okay. I had a great big tree like this here, one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there for before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of changes around it, and then one day it began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural, it was just the time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. So I spent my whole life I'd spent my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen. So I bought a ticket for the far far range the very next day. Ouch. There's no food in here. Eh, we'll check it out anyway. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave in when or from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellows up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long bite of weight come for your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. H. Oh, thanks. I'll just go right in. Da -da 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 -da. Do -do -do. And there is a slime door. Requires a slime key. Which is what we will be getting by popping that gordo. Hi. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a thing down here. Oh yes, I need one of you, don't I? Uh, actually, come on. Get rid of the chicken dude. Oh. Once I lost a boot off this here cliff. Now I never said these journals would be full of important information. And to be fair, it was a darn good boot. Woo! Almost got too close. <laughs> oh, carrot! Oh. Uh. Carrot. Carrot. Whee! Hold off me. Should be enough to pop the gordo. And you eat 
eat chicken. Hmm. Let's see, do I have enough parts here to upgrade your pen to a high wall? Because then I could just make you a Gordo. Or a, not Gordo, but a Fargo. Apparently no. Alright then. <clears throat> Off to the Gordo we go. Come in. I can jump this. I know I can. Paco runner or something. Woo hoo! There he goes! Yay! Slanky! I need this. Wahoo! Get rockin'. I haven't had a stone hand yet. Q berry. I haven't had Q berry. Get out of there! No! No! the key berry. Stonehand has a rock solid conviction. It's a chicken. It's chicken stuff. Here in chicken stuff. Wow, that's funny. Key berry. Delicious, sweet, and they never roll off the table. That's 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 pretty funny, guys. And the rock blurts are worth 22. Now we have enough to get either high walls or another garden. Hmm. You would look really good mixed hmm. <clears throat> But I'm getting high walls for that too. Hmm. Well, we'll start with high walls over here. Now we have high walls. How did you get out? Oh, he was double hungry. Triple hungry. Hungry. I'll have to make it a pink kitty. Ah, uh, see here. Eat. How did you get out of your pen? And lastly, to finish off our episode, let's read our star mail. Casey. Oh, nope, not that one. Theora West. <laughs> Welcome to the range exchange. Hi there, Beatrix. Name's Theora West. I keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the Far Farm range, Far Far Range, and head of Welcome Wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimers, er, slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get trade com completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well enough, John, we both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Fior. 
So that'll be the end of today's episode. Uh, like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment on who, where we should go with our slack key. All right, well, see you next time. This is Cheddar Fox signing off. <laughs>